welcome to another episode of Origamis with Plus 4 Charisma. Today, I'm going to show you how to fold an elithid. Hopefully you can see it alright. It's kind of small this time. Found on page 222 of the D&D 5e Monster Manual. Elithids, or Mind Flayers, as they are titled in the book, are lawful evil. They are medium aberrations, and they have a challenge rating of 7. The fun thing about elithids is that they have these four tentacles here, and their victims can get caught in them, and then they eat their brains! They feed off various enzymes and uh, psionic energy and hormones found in the brain. So that's something awesome! They can also use psionic energy to take control of their victims, and make them carry out orders that the elithids give them through telepathy. Most elithids live in hive mind colonies, where they all follow the direction of an elder brain. It's this big brain in a vat that's at the center of the city of the colony. Love it! Now that you know something about elithids, let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is a series of pre-folds. First we're going to fold it from corner to corner, crease it down the middle at the other two corners and then you're going to fold it and do the exact same thing on the other side. Now fold it in half down the middle of the page, crease that. These are all going to be mountain folds so they're all going to be going the same way and then do it on the other side as well. There's what we have here. I'm reinforcing the folds. Now turn the paper and fold the bottom flap up to meet the middle fold. Unfold it, rotate the paper, and then you're going to do that same fold up to the middle fold on all the sides, all four of them. All right, pick the paper up and flip it over, and then fold it down the middle, and then take the top fold that you have there, and this is sort of tricky, and just Smash it down to meet that middle fold. Make sure that the two side pre-creases line up with the ones on the bottom. Now I tried to find a name for this. I'm almost certain that it's some sort of base, but I couldn't find any. So if I do find it, I'll, I'll let you know in the comments. So there's what it looks like now. Make sure to press the folds down. Now fold the flap over and then grab one of the bottom corners and fold it up and align it with the top. Do the same thing on the other side. Repeat the action. Press down and crease it. Now pull up that tab in the middle, reinforce it. And then you're going to pull up the side. So this is a little bit tricky. Pull up the side, match up the corners, and then you're going to grab the outer side and flip it over so that you've basically folded it in on itself. And it should look like this. Now do the same thing for the other side as well. Alright, so now we're just going to pre-fold the middle a little bit. This is what it looks like. So now take that middle tab, open it up by inserting your finger, and then smash it down. Hold it together. And this is really a pre-fold. Unfold it. Fold it up. And then, so this is a little tricky too. Grab it about halfway down and smash it down. And then you're gonna have a little tab on the top. Also open that up and smash that down as well. It 
should look like this. Now just unfold it. Grab the two tabs on the top and unfold those as well. Pull them all the way down to the bottom. And then take the two sides and fold them under. So it creates a diamond shape. And then insert your finger into the fold and smash that down as well. So you should have this triangle and then two rectangles out the bottom. Fold that over, and this is another sort of tricky fold. Fold the bottom rectangle tab into a series of small triangles. So hopefully in the video through showing you, you'll be able to figure out how to do it. Fold the tab down so that the colored side points downward. Because we want to try and keep most of this as, as blue as possible. Okay, so there's what you got. Now flip it over and fold the bottom up about midway up. Flip it over again and then fold it to create a little flap. Now you're going to fold the sides in and then now tug it so that it creates a point on the end as well as a outward curved shape. And you're trying to make it look sort of like a robe. You smash it down. Make sure it's neatened up a little bit. Here's what it looks like and now do the same thing on the other side as well. All right so now we're going to start working on the face and tentacles. Insert your finger, grab the triangle, the top of the triangle and then smash that down. It should create this tentacle like thing. Now this part is actually a bit tricky so you want to create tentacles with the bottom and then with the top, you're gonna to wanna to create the face. So smash that down. And then in order to get them to lay in the right way, you're going to almost roll. Pull the triangles down and then you're going to roll, although really it's a very small series of accordion folds or mountain and valley folds that bunch up the paper and give it the give that creates the tentacles. So see, I'm sort of just getting very small little pieces of paper and rolling it out and in. And that's going to allow the paper to go and create the points that give us the tentacles. We're going to do the same thing on the other side as well. And on the sides of all four tentacles actually. So all four of those triangles are going to be rolled down to create sharper points. Make sure to keep that tab that you tucked in earlier facing inwards. doing it on the rest of them. So the triangle on the side, you really have to try and make small folds because the smaller you make it, the better it's gonna look. You're gonna notice that there isn't much give initially and that the series of accordion folds is going to create the give.
So this is really the part that's probably going to take the longest, as you can tell. Because this part's a bit tricky, as well as in the end creating the face. So now grab the top tab now that you've formed your tentacles. Flip your finger in to kind of prise it open. And then hold it halfway down and smash it down. So then there's still going to be the tab on the top and remember that this was the case as well with the pre-folds. Now push that down as well. Once again, slip your finger into the remaining tab, push it open, and then push it down. Now you're going to invert it in the same way that you invert the bird base. So you're gonna grab the top and gently push the sides inward while at the same time pulling the top outward. As you can see that this part is a little bit tricky. I sped it up some because really most of that part of the video was me trying to finish with it to get it into place. So after you've folded it over, pull up the top tab and then crease it into place. Now, just sort of tweak the tentacles until they get into the position that you want them to be in. You should be able to move them all right if you made your accordion fold small enough. It should be pretty easy just to sort of push them up a little bit. and press them into whatever shape you want them to be in. There's what we have. I right, now take the top tab and pull it down. Here I'm just neatening up the tentacles a little bit more. And now I'm going to try and make sort of an impression in the head because I want it to look sort of like eyes. So here's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of taking my fingers and pinching it to try and get it to crease into eyes. So here I'm just kind of neatening it up Now grasp the top triangle between your thumb and forefingers and press it down, bend it back, and then push it up. And this will give it more of a defined look, more of a defined cloak look, as well as making the arms a little more defined too. Now I want you to grab the top folds and pull out on it a little bit to make the head form into a little rounder than it is right now. All right, so I hope you enjoyed learning to fold in a lithid with me. If you folded along with me, I would love to see your work. 
You can either post it on my Facebook or Twitter. The links will be below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see other origamis with plus four charisma, please subscribe to my channel. You might also consider dropping a comment with either a suggestion or future origami mini request. If you like this video, don't forget to let me know and I will see you next time.